Carl Pei intends to cause a stir in the competitive world of smartphones, with the rumoured launch of the well-known smartphone Nothing in the US. In this video, we will tell you everything you need to know about the coming of this phone. So let's get straight to it. So where did Nothing come from? The chief executive officer of a technology business located in London called Nothing has had enough of phones that are virtually identical in appearance. The Nothing Phone 1, which came out in the summer of this year, was the first smartphone created by Carl Pei's tech company Nothing. This was a breath of fresh air in the somewhat stale Android phone scene. It was an interesting alternative to top-of-the-line phones made by well-known companies that cost a lot more. It looked cool and was easy to see through. It has great specs with a few features that were unique to it. Also, a fair price. But the Nothing Phone 1, which was sold in Europe, the Middle East and Asia, was never officially released in the United States or Canada. However, this could all change by the time Nothing comes out with its second smartphone. In an interview with CNBC, Pei, the founder of the company, talks about why the Nothing Phone 1 was never sold in the US. We didn't launch in the US because you need a lot of extra technical help to support all of the carriers and the specific changes they need to make on top of Android. We decided not to launch in the US because of this. Even so, the company has said it will launch a mobile product that works in the United States in the future. Now, the CEO of the company, Pei has told us that this is true. Pei has said about a third of EarStick sales come from the US. The recently announced EarStick earphones from Nothing are now available in the US, and they are doing pretty well. CNBC has said that Nothing has already sold half a million phone units and 600,000 ear earbuds around the world. These are the company's other earbuds that block out the noise and can be charged wirelessly. Pay's goal for Nothing is to become profitable in 2024, as the company is still losing money, and ultimately to challenge Apple's iPhone in the US. In 2021, the company achieved sales of $20 million with the launch of a single product. However, Carl demonstrated his expectation of revenue, which is $250 million and 12 and a half times the amount of revenue achieved in 2021. We don't know for sure if Nothing is entering the US market with the Nothing Phone 1, after the problems with the carriers are fixed, or if it will be a whole new product. On the other hand, Pei has made it clear on Twitter that the company's top priority right now is to improve the first phone's features through software updates, and that the Nothing Phone 2 is still a long way off. Regarding the Nothing Phone 2, its estimated time of release is still unknown. He has not provided a possible date for when to expect the next phone, nor did he say anything about whether or not it will be a premium device with top-end hardware or another mid-range device like Phone 1. He also did not say anything about whether or not it will have a larger display than Phone 1. Whatever the case may be, these particulars are very likely going to be verified within the next few months, when information regarding the Nothing Phone 2 begins to surface online. According to Pei, the company is more concerned with providing software support for its existing products, rather than producing a large quantity of devices like other Android original equipment manufacturers. In addition to this, he mentioned that Nothing is cooking something really spectacular in terms of software, Android 13 and beyond for the Phone 1. This is all because Nothing has set such high standards for all of the things it has to offer. The Phone 1 project is the best example of how well this method might work. It helped that it had a great design with a practical twist that made it stand out. It also helped the level of competition in the US was lower than it was in other countries. Because of these two things, it stands out from the rest. The first Nothing Phone was sold in India for around about $400 when it first came out. Since then, the price has gone up a little bit. It's possible that the company will keep the same price for its next product and if they do come to the US with a $450 phone, it will be quite a showdown between them and its competitors. Apple sells the iPhone SE in this price range. This is alongside products such as the Google Pixel A series. However, Samsung are still trying to figure out how to make the Fan Edition and Galaxy A series phones work better. If you live in the United States, you can get a good phone for that price from the big three. As soon as you see a Chinese cell phone for sale in the same price range, it's clear that the trade-offs have been made. Manufacturers in the East are already making phones with 120Hz screens, higher resolution cameras, and charging capacities of 100 watts or more. All of these cost the same as the premium. 
The smartphone market in the United States is the least interesting compared to markets in Asia and Europe, and it costs a lot more money to buy a smartphone there. Will brands like Oppo and Xiaomi be sold in the United States at some point? This isn't likely for these businesses because the profit margins on their phones they sell are so small, which carrier partnerships won't let them do. Nothing is a smartphone that doesn't have crazy good features, but it does offer a very refined experience at a price that is easy on the wallet. The Nothing Phone 1 has been praised for its eye-catching design, great attention to detail, clean software experiences, good camera output, and its promise to update its Android operating system to meet Pixel standards. That looks like a phone that could be hard to turn down. Also, none of these features are available at Apple iPhones or Google Pixel phones that cost less than $450. It is important to note that the Nothing Phone has 5G capabilities, just like every other smartphone that's worth buying in 2022. When you are away from the router and can't find a public Wi-Fi network, you can still download episodes, movies, and playlists to your device in a few minutes or seconds if you have a SIM card with unlimited data storage. The Phone 1 uses a mid-range Snapdragon 778 chipset with 8GB of RAM. Nothing did a lot of things right with its first cell phone, which is impressive because the company is new to the smartphone market. It is a great and powerful device with a great screen, reliable operation, and a camera that works well enough for most photos. The US market for smartphones could use a new company with the same kind of goals as Nothing, which is run by a visionary who wants to compete with Apple. When Nothing comes out, it seems like consumers will have a compelling new option to look into, one that doesn't take as many shortcuts and focuses more on the everyday experience of using a smartphone. More importantly, instead of forcing customers to choose between Apple, Google and Samsung, and making them make other annoying compromises, a Nothing smartphone might give customers more for their money. It does however turn out that the Nothing Phone 1 is coming to the US soon, but in its testing program. The founder, Carl Pei, tweeted that the US will be part of a testing program for Nothing OS 1.5 Beta, the handset maker's custom Android 13 software. This is yet another statement from the founder teasing a phone's release. From the situation, we can imagine that the Nothing Phone would be released in the US sooner than we think. So, thank you very much for watching. What are your guesses for the launch? What are your expectations for the Nothing Phone 2? We'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to get more updates like this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching.